Hey, guess what? My dishwasher isn't here yet. I ordered one, but hadn't shown up yet. And I got new rubber gloves, but they've already got a hole in them. This one does. Yeah. It's Monday. I'm doing dishes. I haven't had a shower yet because I haven't worked out yet. But I thought I'd feel better working out if I had clean dishes. I was afraid I needed a, um, what's that called? Uh, a washing machine, because it kind of almost broke. Because my daughter, Ella, who's 18, uh, gets frustrated with me because I don't do um, laundry like maybe some people might do. And probably because we have too many clothes and I don't like going down to the basement and doing laundry. So she very frustratedly put too many, too much, probably put three loads of laundry in one, a one load machine. You know what I'm saying? And I heard it go clank, 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 and then stop. And I go down and look at it. And I was like, crap. We need a new laundry machine. Well, we waited a day thinking, okay, next day we're gonna go buy a washing machine. And uh, Kenny tried it again and he said it might be all right. We probably still need a new one sometime soon, but let's uh, get a dishwasher first. We have ants also, like I've got a big ant problem. Do you, well, actually they're little ants, so I have a little ant problem. And um, that's frustrating. Um, so we went on spring break uh, down to Florida, and we did one day at Disney at the park uh, at the Hollywood Studios where I used to work. I used to work at Disney, and um, except then it was called the Disney MGM Studios. And uh, I remember when I first got my job, my job at Disney, I was so freaking excited because I knew it was kind of hard to get a job. Meaning, like, they wanted you to be, like, real all-American, perky, and so on. And um, their standards have changed. Um, they've also opened more parks and stuff since I worked there. Because that was um, a lot of years ago. And so we're watching, we're uh, at the, um, what you call, uh, you're bugging Alexa off. Uh, Alexa. Alexa off. Anyway, um, so we're down there and it's freezing. Um, it was like, you know, 50 something with the wind blowing, which is freezing for Florida. And um, so I've noticed that to do, you know, for COVID and to keep the everything under control, you only they only let so many people into the park and you had to have reservations, which we did, of course. But then as we're waiting in line to ride the Millennium Falcon ride, uh, they made the queue much longer than normal. And here's what flabbergasted me. Flabbergasted. They took us, they took the queue behind, turn off the water, behind the Millennium Falcon, which means they went backstage for the queue to go for people to stand in line. That takes away the magic. I mean, seriously, we're behind the Millennium Falcon where you can see the uh, steel beams and the fake rock and like the dumpster for the cast members. And you can see the uh, uh, like rental, uh, what do you call it? Like big rental boxes to put stuff in. And then there's a guy standing back there who's of course supposed to be a cast member and he's all dressed up like he works in Star Wars land, but he, may as well have been working at the subway in Walmart in some small town because he wasn't paying any attention. He was like looking around going like, oh my God, this, this job sucks. He wasn't paying any attention to anyone. He was not trying to help with the magic whatsoever. I think he realized that if he is now relegated to the back of the park, there's no more magic anymore. So, I was really disappointed in that. 
um, and that all of the cast members that I saw were all just over it. Again, looking like they worked at <coughs> the subway in Walmart. So that was kind of disappointing, but I still loved the park and Kenny and the kids and I always um, love Disney. We've taken them a lot for not living in Florida. We've probably taken them to Disney maybe at least 10 times maybe. I don't know. Um, but I used to, I was in Florida when Disney World opened. Uh, we lived there and uh, so we stayed in the Contemporary Resort Hotel when it first opened. I was two. So if you want to know how old I am, you can count. And uh, I think that was one thing I wanted to tell you. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, okay, so I've been working out and watching what I eat and blah, 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 until I went on spring break. And here's what happened over spring break, too, because I know you need to know this. Um, that's when I was having some uh, PMS. And because even though you might have counted how old I am, uh, I'm not in menopause yet, but I don't, uh, my hormones still are, you know, they decide to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And so they decided I wanted to eat all the things and not do any of my exercises while we were down in Florida, which is fine, right? But <clears throat> now I came back home feeling like what you call a uh, fuller than a dog tick in a bucket of blood. You know what I'm saying? Fat. I feel, I feel large like I'm going to bust. So that's how I feel now. And I'm going to get back on to my working out after I do my dishes. And um, so that's my story about that. And I started counting and I put it in my little Fitbit thing on my, uh, on my phone. You know, you can link it and to say what you had to eat. And so I'm trying to balance my macronutrients. And so far, I've had my carb allotment for the day. And I haven't had lunch yet. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna have to work out so I can earn some more carbs. Uh, and I had stopped drinking wine during the week and realized that, hey, wine packs on a lot of calories. Um, so I started drinking whiskey. And because you can just do a little bit of that. And then when I was on vacation, I would just have whatever I wanted to eat or drink. What do I have in my hair? I don't think anything. Um, including a chocolate soda from Gear Deli. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to it because I don't want to be sporty Barbie. Working out Barbie. Okay, I think that's my story. How are you? Happy day. Got hold of my gloves.